and don't be waiting on them refund checks to come. At the end of the day, when you go to college, you're there for a reason. Don't be naive. How am I supposed to live like this? You know what I'm saying? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Haley. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're not new, welcome back. I missed you. In today's video, as y'all can see from the title, I'm going to be giving y'all freshman advice, college freshman advice to be specific. Okay, so I graduated high school with my associate's degree. We got this program at my high school where basically you can take your junior and your senior year at a community college and you can get your associate's degree when you get your high school diploma. So that's what I did. And after that, I transferred. Well, I was technically transferred, but I was also an incoming freshman freshman at Jackson State University as y'all know the I love period it is an HBCU y'all need to know it is HBCU because not going to HBCU what are you doing I'm just saying like I'm just saying so I have a, like some topics that I want to talk about scheduling your classes books organizations homecoming and having like a planner and being organized and stuff like that first let's talk about having a planner okay you're gonna need a planner one thing about me I love to be organized when it comes to things that I have to get done so like it's really helpful when it comes to planning out your assignments when you're gonna study like stuff that you need to get done on campus like throughout the day just everything like having a planner is really important because it's easy to fall behind or get off track or even if you just need to make a phone call or schedule a meeting with an advisor like literally anything or if you want to use like the reminders app on your phone me personally I like to write down my stuff and I use the, a planner all throughout high school too but I definitely recommend getting you a planner moving on to advisors and scheduling your classes so let me just give y'all a similar situation that happened this semester like last semester. I would say doing the program at my school really prepared me for college. I was technically already in college. I already did all my prereqs. I transferred over here with 57 college credits already. So I pretty much already had a little bit of college experience, if that makes sense. I just didn't have the dorm life and like all of that type of stuff. So when it comes to scheduling your classes and your advisor, you need to be aware of what classes that you need to take. Personally, since I already did all my prereqs at the community college, your income and freshman year, you're going to be taking prereqs such as English, math, biology, like stuff like that. That's normal for literally that's required to graduate any, from anywhere. But you need to make sure that you're actually taking stuff that you need for your degree plan. When I say that, whichever major that you're taking, it's going to have a specific set of classes that you need to take that's going to pertain to your major that are required for you to graduate from that specific category, such as business or, or nursing, whatever, whatever the case may be, you're going to have specific classes that you're required to take. So make sure when you are setting up your schedule and you talk to your advisors and stuff like that make sure you ask them to see your degree plan because you don't want them to put you in classes that you aren't required to take for your major like I was saying the biology and the math and the English and all of that those are definitely going to be classes that you need to take but electives such as like maybe music or a computer class or that a lot of the times a lot of majors don't require certain electives or they require a specific amount so say you have like three credits of math three credits of music you only need three don't don't let them put you in another music class because that's going to be a waste of credits if that makes sense don't be afraid to speak up either like need something resolved be on them about it i don't care if they not responded after two emails or three voicemails or whatever the case may be schedule a meeting to go to their office pop up on them at their office whatever that you, you need to do to make sure that you're getting the education that you need because essentially they are there to help you so don't be afraid to speak up about anything next is homecoming um kind of all over the place with this stuff but Homecoming is very important at HBCU. If you go to HBCU, then you already know. Let me just say this. When homecoming comes around, you're still gonna have to go to class. Homecoming is a week straight. There's gonna be activities that's going on throughout the entire day, at night, all type of stuff. And you're still gonna have work that you need to do. So when homecoming comes around, in the beginning of the semester, you need to make sure that you're in every class, that your attendance is good, that all your work is done so that you can afford to miss those days. Because at the end of the day, them teachers don't care. They're gonna mark you after you're still gonna have to turn in your work so now also when it comes to like your outfits and your hair nails whatever the case may be you want to show up and show out period like you need to be saving and preparing before homecoming like homecoming season even comes around you need to have your stuff together and don't be waiting on them refund checks to come it's no guarantee that they're gonna be here when homecoming comes so you need to have your funds already set aside because you have to pay for food you're gonna have to pay for the parties you're gonna have to pay for transportation if you don't have a car all of that so be prepared for 
for homecoming because it really is a big deal. Like, I don't know how I work at PWIs, I'm not gonna cap. Yeah, if you go to HBCU, be thinking ahead of time. Like when school literally starts, be thinking about what you wanna do. The next is organizations. I'm really not one to talk when it comes to organizations. I'm not in an organization. I plan on joining the Entrepreneurship Society. I don't know if y'all know, but I am an entrepreneurship major. I, I kind of say this contradicting myself because considering that I'm not in one, but this is what happened to me last semester. I was always in my dorm. I was always like by myself, just doing school work and not really hanging out with anybody. Or it can really take a toll on your mental health. And it doesn't make your college experience fun. Like you're just gonna be bored all the time. So I say find something that you're interested in and see how you can get around your class schedule. Just join any organization. They have like clubs for literally everything. So that's what I definitely want to look into for myself. I don't know if I'm gonna do it this year because I'm kind of at a volunteer thing right now and I actually really like it there. So that's kind of my organization right now, I guess you could say. But we have like the CAB, which is obviously the College Activities Board. So it's like they do all the hard, not necessarily parties, but like all the school stuff. Say if we have like a glow in the dark party on campus or skate parties and they just do like little stuff around the school. Like even something like that will help you just like get out your room and get in somewhere. The next topic is putting your schoolwork first. I can't stress this enough. At the end of the day, when you go to college, you're there for a reason. You came to get that degree. You didn't just come to party and hang out and do all this, this and that. At the end of the day, you came to get an education. So personally, I know, I feel like a lot of freshmen, they going into school, they mind is instantly party mode. You need to be locked in with the books too. The teacher's gonna fail you. You're paying for school. That's another thing too. You're paying for school. This ain't no high school where I have to be in high school. Like no, you chose to come here. Parties and all that type of stuff, they're going to be there. They're not going nowhere. You have four years. I don't know what that is. Especially being a freshman, your prereqs are gonna be your hardest classes. The writing all those papers, science and all of that, those is the ones that you really need to lock in. I'm starting to take more of my major classes, so it's kind of like the load is kind of lightening up a little bit. This is kind of like gonna be a quick video, I'm assuming. I'm kind of speeding through these little things. Okay, so your books. Don't buy the books. Don't buy them. Don't buy them from the bookstore. Get them off Amazon, see if you can find them in a thrift store. For the most part, all the books are gonna be online. Either they're gonna be online, or the teachers don't use them, or you're gonna be like following along on PowerPoint. Considering like, you know, when COVID happened, everything was virtual. So it was just like, nobody really had a reason to have a physical book, you know what I'm saying? For the most part, when they're requiring a book for the class, don't even use it. So I would say wait until you actually, like the first week of school, till you actually go to your classes, fill them out, see how the teachers work before you just go out and spend almost 40, $50 or even more. If you even spend $10, that's still $10 out your pocket that you could have saved, you know what I'm saying? So just wait. Okay, now I'm gonna talk a little bit about my college experience in itself. I kind of threw it in there. Like I was saying in the beginning, I go to Jackson State University. Honestly, say my first semester here was okay. It wasn't the best, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't like fantastic, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like that's just because of me personally. Like I feel like I could have made it better. I was telling y'all, I didn't really join any or organizations or really make too many friends on campus just because a lot of the time people aren't genuine. Like that's what you need to watch out for too is friends. Like, don't be blind to people because everybody comes from different walks of life. Everybody moves different. Everybody acts different. Like everybody doesn't have your best interest at heart. Don't be like me. Don't be, you know, standoffish. But at the same time, don't be naive. Yeah, like I was saying, I didn't really make too many friends the last semester just because like I was just trying to fill out the campus. I kind of stayed to myself, stayed in a dorm. I did go to like the parties and stuff they had on campus or just like little get togethers they had. Not all the time because we don't have them like every single day, but it's just like when they did have stuff, I would definitely go. Just putting yourself out there making connections, finding people who are like you, like-minded, like that's gonna be your best bet. So yeah, I feel like that's something that I did do wrong in the first semester, which is why it was kind of hard for me because I just kind of felt like, dang, if I would've went to school with like one of my closest friends, like we would be having so much fun. And it's just like, this is your opportunity to make new friends and stop trying to like compare them to the people you have back home because at the end of the day, them relationships have been established since like middle school or before. And so I was just grinding and doing school work for the most part, like get out of class, go to the lab, do work. One thing they don't tell you is the water situation down here in Jackson, Mississippi. So our first month of school, I had to leave campus because our water didn't work. And our water pressure was low, it was too low. We couldn't drink the water, the water was coming out brown, all of that. So it was just like, it was really, it was really hard for one, because like, dang, I just got here. For, and I had to go like to a different state where I, where I have family at or whatever. How I'm supposed to live like this, you know what I'm saying? And even before we came back for spring semester, we was also having problems with the water. Like that has just been an adjustment in itself but I'm definitely gonna have some stories to tell my kids because baby you can't complain about nothing like I didn't have no water my freshman year of college like that's just really ghetto for one homecoming experience was great 
friends came um, came here from Kansas City and we just had the time of our lives. Like, like the parties were so fun and just being around genuine love and energy was the best. Like I just, I just love that. Like I really wish they all go to school here, but you know. Hey, can't make that happen, but the football games were so great. Like, just the HBCU atmosphere, um, being around all of those people that just love and support your school. Like, it's just, it's it's really something to experience. Like, if you do have the option to go to HBCU, please do it because it's, it is what everybody cracks up to be on the internet. Like, it is the place to be. You don't want to miss out. Like, and every HBCU and every school in general has their perks and they do have their downfall. So, don't think, oh, just because they're portraying the school to be one way that, oh, no, this is just go how it's going to be across the board no that's not the case if somebody's saying something negative about the school like no you need to go and you need to have your own experience and you need to get a feel for wherever you're at by yourself like don't let people misguide you into thinking something that is not or like y'all catching my drift when you walk across that stage at the end of the day i'm gonna be proud to say i'm a jackson state alum period it's had its ups and downs and also too like just being away from home has really been hard you just gotta make the most of your experience do the best that you can honestly so i don't regret coming here at all my camera is low-key finna die so we're gonna try to hurry up and speed through these last couple ones because it's really not that much left dorm life has been an adjustment because it's just living with somebody else in itself is just a hard thing to do especially being right out of school like personally i want i want my own apartment i'm not gonna cap so we gonna have to make some fun so we can get up out this dorm but it's not it's not that bad it really just depends on the person and how y'all connect with each other me personally i have the best roommate there is like i couldn't ask for a better roommate it really is just living with other people like that's just me like I just don't want to live with nobody else you know having your own room since you was however old it's just like real wild like I gotta wake up and it's somebody laying across from me every day like no that's crazy but at the same time you have to make the best of your situation don't wake up every day and just harp on the fact like huh I gotta live in this dorm blah 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 like because it's it's really not bad like it's not bad at all especially if you make it your own and decorate how you want to and you know just find pieces to make it feel like home like that's your best bet but yeah that's pretty much all I have to say about freshman advice like y'all got any other questions like y'all can message me personally dm me on instagram anything that y'all want to know as far as like even if if it's about jackson state's I'm trying to hurry up and close out this video because yeah my camera's gonna die but subscribe to my channel follow my social medias which will be down in the description box and i will see y'all in my next video bye